Today I have something different for you. This is Mongoose Jake and while most of my videos focus on specifically mountain biking there are a number of riders out there who have a family and who want to take their kids with them. One good way to do that is with a child carrying trailer. I have for you here this is the Instep Pronto from last year. Bought it through Walmart's website or you could buy it also in store this one was discounted at $88 when I bought it. They were online for $100 and I simply picked it up at the store. And the Instep Pronto was the base model that had room for two childs, two children, and also some cargo. Give you a little walk around of it. I apologize for the noise. I have put this trailer to use today. And we are here at a plaza in downtown area here where we live and the kids are playing in front of a big geyser. So that is the noise you hear in the background. Now the Instep Pronto was the most basic trailer there was. But I'll step back and let you see. I've got it hooked up to my paver and as you see there it mounts to your rear axle with a little quick release system where you simply remove this pin here and you pop it out and you can detach the trailer. It's spring loaded on the hitch and that spring allows the bike to move without affecting the trailer itself. Now what that means is you could have a pretty bad crash on your bike and the trailer itself would stay upright without harming the children. I'll open this up that, I'll let you see that again actually, that was a mesh screen cover and there's a roll down plastic vinyl rain cover there and let you see the harness systems. There are little pockets on the sides, I use them for water bottles for the kids and here's your harness system. Each child has a pair of shoulder straps that go to the bottom clip as well as the whole system has a lap belt that goes across and hooks across both child, both children. I keep saying child here. And if you do carry just one child at a time, here is a third set, a third bottom clip that uses the center two, or in my usage I found actually the outer two work better because if you look at it, the center two, if there was one one child sitting here, that pinches on their neck. So I found for comfort, I actually go around to the outer two and hook it to the middle when I'm only carrying one kid. Now for that little cargo area, which we've used here. I'm looking to open it up. You can see it's enough to actually carry a couple of grocery bags, which we may have made a couple of trips to our lo local store with this and it works well. You can put in about two or three grocery bags and it doesn't get in the way of the children's comfort and whatever cargo you put in is pretty secure. Now this normally comes with a whip flag on the back and what I found was that thing broke pretty easily so in addition to the single reflector which I don't think is sufficient I put on a blinky light so I have my blinky light on and a reflector and that works well for giving some extra visibility. Now the wheels quick detach with the same type of clip as the front hitch does and so does the whole hitch itself removes with another little clip and folds underneath. The whole thing actually can fold flat. These each side are hinged right here. You remove a center bar up here you pop it up and remove it and then you can fold each side in on itself now for under a hundred dollars this was a fantastic little trailer but a few things that I've noticed this has a fabric floor and it has sagged you see you can see it here it's sagged pretty bad but now we do use this two three times a week so we use it for heavy use the same sagging is on the top here so I added a little bungee cord 
so that once they're in and you put this over the top, it keeps it out of their face. As you can see there, that helps. Now, personally, my next one is going to be the Sunlight uh, Trailer Tot Deluxe that has a, a hard steel floor and an alloy frame because this trailer is a little heavy and the Sunlight also has some little guards on the outside so you don't snag the wheels which these wheels are some plastic mag wheels they're 16 inch size and one thing that I've noticed I always run Presta valves and you can see here this is a Schrader the sh that means I actually have to carry two different pumps when I pull the trailer or just simply be prepared to ride home with a flat rear tire which you can do I have done and it really doesn't affect too bad but personally I'd recommend this trailer as a, a good buy it's now been replaced in the lineup you can look on InSteps website or walmart.com they now have a new model that's ten dollars more expensive but still it's basically the same trailer and instead of being red it is a uh, light baby blue so it would still be a good buy because that's only ten dollars more and I would buy it again but with my kids getting bigger heavier and taller I want a little bit larger trailer that is a little bit higher quality but overall this is a great way to get your kids out and about as you can see because of it my kids are out here playing with me so again this is Mongus Jake signing off after giving you a little overview of the in-step pronto.